my name is Ami Magani. I'm an applications engineer for Go Engineer. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a note library. And what a note library allows you to do is store uh, small segment notes, and then you can collect them and add the ones that are applicable to that particular drawing that you're working on. So you basically have a giant bank of notes um, that you can basically pull from. You don't have to retype uh, each note every time you create a drawing. Uh, the other advantage is that you can store these on a network location um, where other users can also um, pull from that directory and that way you have some consistency from drawing to drawing. The first thing I'm going to do is select what I have, delete it so I can start all over. Yay! Okay, so uh, what you need to do is go over to the task pane here and you want to select the one with the library books. Um, and what we're doing here is telling SOLIDWORKS where we want to store all of these annotations. Um, so you can go up to this uh, button right here. It says Add File Location. And go ahead and select a uh, network location or just something on your hard drive, depending on um, your application. And then additionally, you can also right-click on that library and say New Folder to add subdirectories. So you may just have a bunch of notes that are just related to surface finish. So in that case, you'll want to create subdirectories. Go ahead and pin this thumbtack uh, so that that pane stays open as we're working. Okay, now we're ready to start to add notes. So I'm going to go ahead to the annotation command manager, click on note, and just type whatever your note might be. And then when you're done, don't press enter, that puts a space in that text box. Whenever you're done with the line, hit escape, escape, and that gets you out of the command. Then you can right click on it when you get the orange dynamic highlight. And you'll want to choose add to library. And make sure it's pointed to the correct library. And give it a descriptive um, file name. So in this case, it's just test one, but I have some other notes and you can compare to that and click OK. Um, and then for every note, create a new annotation and just type test two, escape, escape, and then look for the dynamic highlight, add to library when you right click. Okay, so that's test two, click the green check mark. Okay. So this is how you build your note library by adding each note individually, right clicking on each individual note and asking the program to add it to the library. And then you should develop this larger palette of notes. You can also arrange it differently. You can right click and say list large icons or list small icons. And that might be easier to read and it's alphabetized. Again, don't forget to put these in a stored or shared network location if you plan to share this with colleagues and if you want consistency um, between or among your drawings. Now stay tuned for my next video where I talk about flag note banks. So I'm going to show you how to pull all of these notes in to one annotation, have them numbered, and then you can flag your model view with those notes and reorder them as needed. Okay, I'm Ami Migani. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.